Hey, hope you're doing good. It's Chris here from Six Stream Finger Picking, and in this lesson, we're learning how to play Streets of London by Ralph McDell. Okay, so for this song, we have got a capo on the fourth fret. We're in standard tuning, and if you want to get the full lesson and guitar tab, that is available below this video. Let's get straight on with the lesson. Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to learn how to play the intro, and just the intro goes like this. Okay. So it's really, it's, it's not too bad. It's, I guess it's a little bit busy. The chords are very straightforward, which is nice. So let's do those first. Now, this is, um, the chords are very straightforward. This is a, a C, well, it's an E chord, but we're gonna call it a C chord because it's easier for the majority of people with the capo on the fourth fret. So it's an E, but we're gonna call it a C. And then this is a B chord, but we're gonna call it a G. So anyway, we've got a bar of C and it does go to, slash G, so you put that in the bass, and then to a G chord, A minor, E minor, F, and then you got the C, G, and then back to C. So they're the chords, really nice and straightforward. Okay, so holding down the C chord, what you want to do is you want to play the A and the high E string together, followed by the B, then the D, and then the G. So. And then take your third finger and move it to the third fret on the low E string and play that. And then the B string, and then the D string, and then the G. So nice and slow. A bit quicker. Okay, so that's the first part. And if you want to play it like this the whole time, with your pinky on and your third finger for the C slash G, of course that's absolutely fine. Then to your G chord, so holding down just a regular G chord, you, you're not playing the A string so you don't have to have the second fret on there. I just use my third and my fourth finger. So you play the two E strings together and then B, D, G. So, and then lift off the third fret on the high E string um, and it's, then it's exactly the same in the right hand, so that's the two E strings together. But then, so you've played the open high E with the third fret on the low E string, then you want to play the third fret on the B string, and then open D, open G. So check it out, nice and slow. And again. Okay, so that bar up to speed. And back to the beginning, first two bars. And then comes the A minor, so we hold down an A minor and play the A and the B string together. G, D, and then lift off the first finger and play the open B, so. And then open A, and then play the open B again, and you hammer the first fret and as soon as you hammer that first fret, play the second fret on the D string. Again, so like. Okay, and then you just catch the G string. Second fret, so that's. So a bit fiddly if you've not done that kind of thing before. So that's the first three bars. It's 
straight to an E minor chord. And holding down an E minor chord, play the two open E strings, followed by B, D, G, and then E, B, D, G. So that's two E strings. B, D, G, low E, B, D, G. Then you're onto the F chord, and I'm playing it with my thumb on the first fret of the low E string, then three on the D, two on the G, and one on the B. Um, but first off, actually, take your first finger off and make sure that that B string is wide open. So when you're holding that down, play the low E string, then the G, then the D string, and then open B. So you've gone. And then you play the low E string first fret again, and then put your first finger on to the first fret of the B, Okay, so you've gone. And then play D, third fret, and G, second fret. Like that. So from the E minor. Okay, and then straight to a C slash G. So here I'm holding down the third fret on the E string, and then second on the D, first on the B. Holding that down, play the E string and the B string and then open G, and then the D string, and the open high E. So the E and the B, G, D, open high E, and then back to the E string, B string, D string, G string. Okay, and then onto a G, so you just lift off, and I just, all I've got is my third finger on the low E string. So you wanna play that, then open G, open D, and then open G again, so you've gone. And as soon as you play that open G, you've got similar to when we played the A minor, but just on this chord, so. You play the open G, then you hammer the second fret on the G string, and as soon as that second finger comes down on the second fret, you play the bass note, so the E string again, so like. Again, that could be tricky if, you've, if you're not used to that kind of thing. So anyway. And then play open B. Then use your pinky to play the third fret on the D string. And then open G again, so nice and slow. That's one of the harder bars. Okay, from the E minor once more. straight back to a C chord and holding down a C chord you play the A and the B D G and then move that third finger down to the third fret on the E string B D G so so once more through and that's the whole intro Okay, so as I say, if you want to get the full lesson, that is available on the website, sixteenfingerpicking.com. Whole lesson and the tab is over there. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and head over to sixteenfingerpicking.com for loads more fingerstyle guitar lessons. And I'll see you over there. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.